Imagine browsing Amazon from your home in London, Rome or Tokyo. You are searching for a product that not only meets your needs but also feels familiar and relevant to your cultural surroundings. This is where product localization works its magic, connecting global sellers with local buyers on Amazon's digital marketplace. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patel, product evangelist at SellerUp and today I'll talk about Amazon product localization, its significance and practical steps to hyper-localize your listings uh, to captivating international audiences. But well, here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to SellerApp so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. Let's get started. Amazon product localization means tailoring your product pages to fit the preferences of different international markets. This involves not just translating text, but also adapting images, specifications, and other elements to match local tastes and cultural norms. Localization is essential for boosting sales. About 71% of marketing decision makers believe that localized content significantly enhances sales. With the global e-commerce market growing and Amazon expanding internationally, Localized product tends to uh, get more visibility and higher conversion rates. Localization helps connect with potential customers by showing that your brand values uh, their specific needs and preferences. For example, when selling kitchen appliances in Japan, highlighting a rice cooker uh, with features suited to Japanese cooking styles can make a big difference compared to promoting it in Europe. Translation and localization are both important for preparing products for uh, international markets, but they have different roles and processes. Translation involves uh, converting text from one language to another. It's essential for making a product accessible to non-native speakers, but uh, it's just the first step. For example, translating a beauty product description from English to French means converting all the textual information into French to make it understandable to a French-speaking audience. This process focuses on language accuracy but doesn't consider cultural nuances. Localization goes beyond translation by adapting the product and its marketing to fit the local culture, values and uh, consumer habits. In the French beauty market, uh, localization includes more than just translation. It involves adjusting marketing messages to resonate with French beauty ideals, which might prioritize certain skincare routines or aesthetic preferences that differ from those in the original market. Localization might also involve uh, changing product imagery used in advertisements or packaging or uh, include local landmarks or culturally relevant symbols, ensuring uh, the product appeals directly to French consumers' tastes and expectations. This deeper adaptation uh, helps foster a stronger connection with the new audience, enhancing engagement and increasing the likelihood of success in the new market. So to effectively localize an uh, Amazon product listing, follow these steps. First is understand market demand. Before entering a new market, understand what influences local consumers' buying decisions. Uh, conduct detailed market research to analyze purchasing behaviors, preferences, and trends specific to the target market. This helps identify potential opportunities and challenges, ensuring your product aligns with local demands. Second is ensure compliance with local laws. Comply with local regulations and standards, including safety standards, environmental regulations, and labeling requirements. This avoids legal issues and builds trust with consumers by assuring them of your product's safety and legitimacy. Third is optimize for local SEO. 
Improve your product listings by optimizing for local SEO on Amazon. Use relevant local keywords that potential customers are likely to search for. This increases your product's visibility and attracts more traffic to your product page. So let me take you to the easiest Amazon keyword research journey with Seller Apps Keyword Tool on the Seller App platform. Navigate to the Keyword Tool. Under this, we have two sub-features. Let's look into each one of them in detail. First is keyword research. It will help you to find the keyword opportunities for your listings. In this, you can enter any keyword. I'm entering table. You'll see that the search results will be displayed on the screen. On the left, you'll find the relevant keywords to the entered keyword. Also, you can find tags against these keywords. They depict the current trend of these keywords on Amazon. And on the right, we have all the metrics based on which these keywords can be evaluated. Additionally, you can track the keywords where you'll be directed towards the keyword tracking under product intelligence feature. There you can analyze them better for a specific period of time. And if they are good to go, then add them to your advertising. Within a few clicks, you can add more relevant keywords to your advertising. You can export the data with this tab and copy paste the most relevant keywords list into a new sheet in your Excel spreadsheet. Now, I have been interacting with many Amazon sellers lately and they have this very problem that whenever a customer searches for a keyword relevant to their product, the competitor's listings appear to be at the top. And this is kind of frustrating because after putting in so many efforts, your competitors are ranking at the top of the Amazon serves. Now imagine how cool would it be if we could actually understand the keyword strategies of your competitors and accordingly imbibe them into your listings. Interesting, right? And that is where uh, the reverse ASIN tool comes into picture. Here you can compare your ASIN with your competitor's ASIN. I've added two ASINs and now click on compare. The best part about this tool is at a time you can compare your ASIN with three other competitor ASINs. Now you will see that the search results are already displayed on the screen. On the left, you'll find the keywords which are present in your ASIN as well as your competitor's ASIN. And on the right, we can see the metrics used to evaluate the keywords. Now this is your ASIN and this is your competitor's ASIN. If you consider this example, this search term has good estimated orders per month and good conversion rate, but it's present in your competitor's ASIN and not in your ASIN. So this can be that keyword which is helping them to rank at the top of the Amazon serves. You can directly add them to advertising or if you want, you can track the keywords uh, where you'll be directed towards the keyword tracking under product intelligence feature. There you can analyze them for a specific period of time and if they are worth it, then you can add them to your advertising. So this is how convenient this tool is to use. Within a few clicks, you can understand the keyword strategies your competitors are using and accordingly use them into your ads. Fourth is check your brand name. Now ensure your brand name doesn't have uh, existing trademarks or unintended meanings in the local language. A brand name that is already in use or has negative or inappropriate connotations can harm your brand's image and sales potential. Fifth is localize product images. Adapt visual content to reflect the cultural specifics of the market. Use models that represent the local population and settings that are culturally relevant. This makes your products more relatable and appealing to the target audience. Sixth is tailor product specifications. Adjust your products to meet local specifications and preferences. For example, modify technical specifications like voltage or power requirements for electronics or size dimensions for apparel to match local standards. Now, these adaptations are crucial for your product's usability and acceptance in the new market. Seventh is adapt brand messaging. Tailor your brand messaging to resonate with the local markets, cultural values, and communication styles. Adapt slogans, product descriptions, and promotional materials to align with local preferences and societal norms. This enhances your brand's relevance and appeal in the new market. To ensure a smooth localization process, steer clear of these particular pitfalls. 
or avoid machine translations. Using machine translations can lead to significant errors in your product listings and marketing materials. While tools like Google Translate have improved, they still struggle with nuances, idiomatic expressions, and technical terms. This can result in awkward or misleading translations that confuse customers and uh, harm your brand's credibility. To ensure accuracy and cultural appropriateness, it's essential to use uh, professional translation services where linguists uh, understand both languages and can interpret context accurately. Respect cultural sensitivity, understanding local customs, traditions, and taboos is crucial for successful localization. Uh, cultural sensitivity uh, can lead to you know mistakes that offend your audience and damage your brand's reputation. For instance, using colors with uh, specific cultural meanings incorrectly in branding materials can be perceived as insensitive. Conduct thorough uh, cultural research or consult with local experts to ensure your content respects cultural norms and is appropriate. Maintain continuous localization. Localization isn't one-time task, but an ongoing process. Uh, markets change, uh, consumer preferences evolve, and new cultural trends emerge. It's common for companies to struggle with keeping their localized content up to date, which can make products seem outdated. Regularly review and update localized content based on customer feedback, market trends, and data insights. This might involve adjusting product descriptions, updating imagery, or revising marketing strategies to uh, stay relevant and effective. Consistency, uh, you know, maintaining your localization efforts helps you remain competitive and connect effectively with your target audience. So in today's global marketplace, precise and culturally aligned product localization is more important than ever. By adapting your offering strategically to fit each market's uh, cultural and practical preferences, you can build stronger connections with customers, increase conversion rates, and achieve significant sales growth. This approach to entering uh, global markets goes beyond overcoming language barriers. It involves truly understanding and fulfilling the needs of diverse consumer groups. Entering Amazon's um, international platform presents a lucrative opportunity for business expansion, but it requires thoughtful investment in localization strategies to succeed. If you have any concerns, feel free to contact us at support at And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. So if you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Seller App. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. And as always, happy selling.